we found out in the early 90s through the SPAF trial, which is the stroke prevention and atrial fibrillation trial, that we can significantly reduce the risk for a stroke or an embolic event and the embolus is when a clot goes somewhere else besides the brain by thinning their blood. The risk for having a stroke or embolic event is assessed by what we use a CHAD score. CHAD is an acronym. C stands for history of congestive heart failure. H is for a history of high blood pressure. A is age over 75. D is diabetes. S is for previous stroke or embolic event. V is for vascular disease. So if you had any carotids cleaned out or had a stent placed in your coronary vessel, you get a point for that. The second A is for age over 65. And then the last S is sex for, if you're a woman and you have a point in any other category, you get a point. Once you have a CHADS VAS score of two or greater, it's felt that you should be anticoagulated to decrease your risk for a stroke or embolic event. The original drug that was used was warfarin. Uh, there are newer agents out now that are used called the NOAX or the novel oral anticoagulants. They're easier to take. Uh, in the studies that have been done, they have been found to be just as good or better than warfarin in decreasing your risk for stroke. The major complication of any blood thinner is that of bleeding. The major reason for withdrawing from any clinical trial that was done with any of these agents is bleeding.